Hi guys, this is part 2 of uh, the video series I'm showing you how I make uh, PCB boards using laser engraver. In order to engrave the board we need uh, to have the drawing. As you can see I'm using Easy EDA and I have here uh, my board. Uh, next step is to export it. So I go to export PNG and uh, I used to export it like 100 times the original size. Unfortunately, easy EDA allows me only to export up to two and a half times but it is not a problem I right click on this drop down and choose inspect button here I open the select with all the options easy day has by default and I uh, and I double click on for example on the last value and I choose here 100 instead of two and a half and now when I choose here two and a half in fact I will get that 100 times um, and the size of uh, original uh, board. Here I am removing the silk layer because I don't need that and click export. And uh, as you can see I got the PNG file of this board. Now uh, I open the downloaded file in um, paint.net in order to remove uh, the white border which is, uh, is not needed. In order for that I choose here Rectangle Select Tool and I go to the upper left corner and select it like that and now move to the opposite corner of our board. Okay, then I go to image crop to selection and I get the image without borders. I click save. Now I go back to easy EDA and I check the the size of my board and my board has 46 millimeters by 13 uh, this size is important later uh, now I'm using um, uh, this online tool imageonlineconverter.com to convert the image to SVG format Choose the file, copy it into this uh, tool 
and click Start Conversion button. In a while it will download me an SVG file. Here it goes. Now we need to open it in a, an editing tool. So I open it, it with uh, Notepad++ and um, here I need to change its width to my uh, original width which is uh, 46 millimeters by 30 millimeters and save this file next step is uh, to open uh, the svg file with uh, laser grbl program so go to file open file and i choose my svg file and uh, I uh, use here um, 150 for border speed. Uh, it works fine for me. Click create. And as you can see, the size is uh, correct. And the shapes are looking really great. That's why I'm exporting the file 100 times bigger than it should be and uh, this online converter uh, can convert it with uh, great accuracy. Um, and basically next step is to engrave it. Of course um, this tool can um, open the PNG file as it is and uh, it has uh, a function to vectorize it but uh, as you can see the result in, is not so great even if you play around with this um, settings uh, still the result is not that great So that's why I'm using the SVG format to get really great results here. So the uh, next step uh, will be to show you how I engrave it. But that will be in another video. So bye bye.